chicken crock pie is an upside down, way easier version of a pot pie that isn't really a pot pie at all, so it's kind of a crock. <laughs> it comes together in a short amount of time, uses tools that pretty much everyone has, and with its down-home flavors, extensive list of comfort foods in the ingredients, topped with a buttery smooth biscuit topping, this is a recipe you gotta try at home. Let's get cooking. Let's start out by talking about what you will need for your chicken crock pie. You will need about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and they can be frozen just like mine are. About a cup of yellow onion diced, about the same amount of chopped celery, four cups of frozen mixed vegetables, Pillsbury Grands, a can of cream of mushroom soup, two cups of chicken broth, and the seasonings you can find in the recipe in the description. To begin, you will want to get your six quart crock pot and start by adding all the vegetables, both frozen and fresh, and the chicken broth, and the cream of mushroom soup. If you would like an alternative to cream of mushroom, feel free to use cream of chicken. Then, stir everything around real quick and add the seasoning, and then return to stirring. Place in the chicken and cook on high for three hours or low for six to eight. Did you know that you don't have to be sitting there writing down all these steps and ingredients? In the description below is a link to my website, which is still under construction, but it has a few pieces of useful information on it, such as this free printable recipe for what we're making. The Neighbor's Kitchen is here to inspire you to cook more at home for your friends and family, and I want to help any way that I can. All that I ask is that you please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below. It doesn't have to be about this. Let me know what you want to see. I do this weekly. Thank you for joining me. Let's get back to cooking. Once the cook time is complete, you will want to make certain that the chicken is fully cooked to at least an internal temperature of 165 degrees, and if so, go ahead and preheat the oven to 375 degrees, and it is time to shred the chicken. If you want, you can shred in the crock pot, but I happen to have seen my future and I saw a mess. So I'm going to shred it outside of the pot with some tongs and a knife. And I don't have to try very hard at this. It's perfectly tender, fall apart chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Once the chicken is shredded, add it back to the crock and stir into the mixture. And this is the time to take a quick taste and figure out if you want to add anything additional like more salt or garlic or something. And now it is time to evenly place the biscuits on top. Once done, go ahead and place the entire crock without the lid into a preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes until the biscuits are cooked through and have a golden brown on top. 15 minutes was not enough for me and the bottom of the biscuits were still doughy so back in they went for another 5 minutes. Now this final step is sure to make you hungry. With the microwave, melt about two tablespoons of butter and sprinkle in a dash of parsley and some garlic powder and mix it real well. Now after the biscuits are finally done, brush the tops of the biscuits with your melty awesome butter and you are ready to eat. Serve with a spoon into a bowl. Each biscuit and the fixins below is roughly one serving. It's time to enjoy. Well, what did you guys think of that? It took about 20 minutes of only hands-on time, and all the cooking, I wasn't even here. I didn't have to watch it, no babysitting. So you wanna see what we did here? Look at how beautiful this is. This is a true wonder. And I like to eat mine with a fork, but check this out. So you just, this is kinda of difficult with the filming. Look at this. <laughs> there is no better winter meal than this. This is gonna hurt me. Let me give it a minute. Mm. Look at the filling here. Mmm.
Okay, don't do that. That's my bad. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me this week. Try this at home. Go ahead, hit the link below, and get you your own copy of this recipe. It is a PDF, so you don't have to print it out. Look at it on your phone, tablet, or laptop. Guys, thank you so much. Until next time, be well. Mmm. I better find some people to help me eat this. Sadie would try to eat while I'm trying to record. She hasn't eaten all day. Suddenly, hit the record button and...